Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Ad Scene on TV podcast for The Vampire Diaries, Season 8, Episode 5, Coming Home Was a Mistake. I am your host, Mike, and joining me is Dom and Kim. Well, hello, John. Well, hello, John. John's not on this. We can't do that. That's true. It would be much funnier with him here, just to confuse mm-hmm. the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. For those who didn't pick up on it, we're quoting Jurassic Park because we're insane. Anyway... On topic, um, Damon is confusing the shit out of me. Damon's confusing the shit out of himself. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm saying, like, yeah. And I was really, like, I, we've been going through this, and, and the titles and everything are all um, quotes from season one, so far, anyway. Um, Coming Home is a Mistake was a clear um, reference to Stefan, you know, mm-hmm. uh, when, he, you know, he was talking to Uncle Zach, and you know, all that, and um, I'm sitting here going, who was the villain in season one? Oh, it was Damon. Guess what? Damon the villain again? It's a nice throwback to season one. Like, th- this is great, but now Damon's really not the villain, and I don't... I don't know. I'm confused he is, now. He is, but he isn't. Right. I mean, that's kind of how it w- went down in season one as well. Pretty much. Yeah, he was the... <clears throat> he wasn't the villain, but he was the like anti-hero. He was the, yeah, the side villain. The anti-hero, I guess, works. No, I don't. No, he really was kind of like a, a side villain-ish. I wouldn't call him the anti-hero. He didn't really become an anti-hero until later. Yeah, I guess but, he was the antagonist. There we go. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah, because he wouldn't call him a villain. He was just the overarching pain in the ass during the season one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like I'm the overarching pain in the ass of our podcast. Yes. Now, Mm -hmm. if Damon's brain before was a sunny-side-up egg, post-Sybil, it is now scrambled eggs. It is now a pancake. Even worse, it is now a pancake. (laughs) (laughs) How does that even happen? I don't know. The magic of cooking. Does it got chocolate chips? (laughs) So, I mean... With this whipped episode, cream and, and blueberries. With whipped cream and blueberries, exactly. He goes <laughs> the whole like roller coaster of like you know they're burying Tyler. Hey, wait a second. There, where should we show up? And there's four graves dug. Here's da- Damon. Take your pick. I'm gonna bury all of you. And then you know, threatens to kill Matt, choking him out. Like we're done. You know, this is it. We're good. All ties are severed. We're like done. All right, cool. Peace out. Gone. It's like he, he wasn't really trying to sever. Like he was, but he wasn't. It was... He was, but he wasn't. Like I kind of got the hint, like, all right, he's doing this to satisfy, <clears throat> like, you know, Sybil gave him a condition. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to satisfy this condition in the most minimal way possible. Right. And then, you know, later in the episode, it's like, Stefan, I really, he, he's at the verge of tears. Like, I really need your help. You know? Yeah. I mean,. The Tyler's funeral and all that, and like the build up to it, I was like, that's actually kind of nice, you know, that they they put such an emphasis on on him, even though he's been gone now for two seasons, you know, mm-hmm. like uh, Michael Trevino left the show uh, the same time as Elena did, and uh, has not been addressed in the show nearly as strong as Elena has, you know, like right. he's just off doing stuff, and he had a cameo in an episode last season, and he had. You know, one episode this season, and it, it's just like, yeah, yeah. But they spent a lot of time and a lot of the impact and, and everything uh, for him. Mm-hmm. And I really like that. But the part that upset me the most was this confirmed: he is dead. There, there's no, there's no way around it. There's no, oh, he had vampire blood in his system, and now he's, you know, he was in transition, even though he was a werewolf kind of thing. Because maybe, possibly, the hybrid something or other lingered even though that was stripped but you know they they could have tried to do something and and made some weird kind of work around but they didn't and he's just dead and that, that's the end of it he's dead it's the end of it for you know the four of them are carrying his casket to bury it 
my major gripe is, you know, even it out, man. You got Alaric and Matt, the humans <clears> on the <throat> left, and you got Caroline and Stefan, the vampires on the right. Like, that is an extremely lopsided arrangement. Super strength on the right, regular people strength on the left. Like, switch roles, man. Even the shit out. But I didn't pay attention that much. I was mm-hmm. weird. I don't know, for some reason in my head, when I saw, like, the four open graves, I was all like, I thought for some reason he stole... The rest of the lilac, the wow, wow, wow words. The Lockwood family, yeah. I kind of yeah. thought that too at first. I'm like, the lilac okay, family. I'm just, <laughs> lilac. It's like, why are the why are the Lockwoods dug up? They're not. Mm. Yeah, so that was Damon's whole plan, but uh, apparently the whole thing is, you know. The analogy that Sybil gives is that the little his humanity switch is like just teetering in the middle, like on the on-off position. Mm. Like, you know, something keeps pushing it to the on's position, and it sucks. And she's just like, hey, with me, it's permanently down. There's none of that. Just, you know, boop, keep it down. Yeah. Oh, his, his head is, it's its so messed up. You know, and, and he even goes to Sybil, and he's like, look, help, help. Like, tell me why this is happening. You shouldn't have control over me anymore. It's like, what did you do? But, yeah, I mean, and then yeah. she, she doesn't really mind control him though. She just manipulates him. Well, yeah, she, she messed with his brain, so his brain is not right. So that's why he's doing what he's doing. It's because his, the switch is still technically off. So it's not. It's it's you know, even if with the teetering, but it's technically yeah. still off. He's... But it's fighting to get to keep emotions. So it's fighting to try to turn back on. Like, he's so fucked in the head right now that even with his humanity and emotions turned off, he's still feeling emotional turmoil. Yeah. And, you know, Sybil sees that and realizes, I don't have to do shit. I can, you know, he's an emotionally distraught and vulnerable person right now. I can just manipulate away. Mm Mm-hmm. Which she does. And then he leaves. But not before cracking the glass. Well, yeah, she, she pushed him on purpose. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, as soon as I did that, I was like, no, this is how she's going to get out. And I was not wrong. No, you were not wrong. It took a, it took the rest of the episode, but you were not wrong. I thought that crack yeah. was going to, um, originally I was like, uh, it's going to allow her to mind control him now. And then she didn't. And then I was like, okay, that's how she's going to get out. So. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I thought it was immediately going to start cracking. Like I thought she'd do it right away. I but, yeah, they wait yeah. until the end. Um, of course, because they had to leave suspense and hook us into the next episode. Exactly. <clears throat> and Stefan decides, hey, the solution is we got to put Damon down. Not kill him, but just put him down to where he can't do anything. Heavy iron chains, like, vervined up and all that stuff. and keep him He in was casket. barely wrapped in those chains. I know. They should have strapped him in like they strapped in Michael. They really should have. But, I mean, that works after Caroline shoots him in the back three times because he caught Stefan's bullet, which, bravo. Um, yeah, the whole thing doesn't last long because, as you said, Sybil gets out because of the crack. You know, mm-hmm, humming and sirens and sound waves and boom. How does it go? I don't know. I, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but now not only is Sybil loose... I mean, we'll get more into this, but Sybil's loose. She has the tuning fork and a loyal servant named Damon. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be fun. On the other end of all of this, um, <clears throat> we got Celine, who we now know as a siren, taking Alaric and Caroline's kids out for a lovely day of fun. Yay! Ice cream, carnival... I knew something was going to happen. Burning a corpse and summoning the devil. (laughs) Yeah! What? (laughs) Like I said, fun! (laughs) And, I mean, she's utilizing their siphoning and witchy powers to her own end. You know, basically teaching them how to use their powers, it seems. Mm -hmm. Because, you know... Yeah, I was... Trying to figure out how that was going to... Because I obviously knew they were connected and she wanted them for some reason. I feel like, I kept the trying kids, to like what? I feel like the kids are, are part siren somehow. I think she's trying to make it turn them into sirens. I, 
I think because they they are witches that were born inside of a vampire that they are some kind of like hybrid vampire witch style thing which vampires have compulsion which is very very similar to what sirens do so I think I think that hybrid witch vampire might actually have some DNA in common with sirens who knows what the hell is going on here but um I mean uh, Celine because the girls a... were affected by the tuning fork don't forget you know a couple episodes ago You're so right. yeah. we don't know you the know. extent <clears throat> of what the tuning fork does but they were affected by it you're right and we don't know if it uh, affects uh, vampires no it doesn't because uh, Stefan doesn't affect, the, no. the tuning fork it doesn't yeah. affect vampires it's just it's something to do with their powers yeah maybe the girls are both psychic and that just hasn't come up yet well because we know that they're cause supposed to be like super special you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and we know that. Well, they might... I mean, Sybil and uh, Celine were both psychics, <clears throat> outcast from humanity, and they made their deal with the devil. And hey, guess what? Sirens. So, mm-hmm. uh, who knows what the hell's going on here? All we know is girls are out for fun. I mean, Celine's teaching them how to siphon off of her to set shit on fire. And I just have a feeling that they're the the girls are going to be the key to defeating them all at the end of this. Yeah. It's been clearly shown that they can siphon the power out of Selene. Which would mean they could siphon the power out of Sybil and probably siphon the power out of Cade somehow. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, But on the topic of Selene, apparently Tyler's been hunting her. Yeah, that that was weird. They came out of left left field. I was like, "Whoa, okay." It's like, well, they they he got a package from the armory, right? Mm-hmm. So how does Alaric, now in charge of the armory, not have any information on what Tyler was doing? Where did that package come from? Who knew Tyler died to send the package? I don't know, but in it, you know, Tyler. It's not like he just mailed Matt, you know. Right. Exactly. I, I might die. Let me mail it to uh, Matt. If you're opening this, it's because I died. And that's what. Where did this package come from? I don't know. But in it was instructions. I need you to find someone. Um, And I missed. Who did Tyler inherit this from? Was it when his mom died? He mentioned a woman's name. There was a woman's name mentioned by Matt. And I don't know if it was Tyler's mom. I don't remember. Or a relative. Because Tyler picked up after, you know, where someone left off when they died. Yeah, it wasn't his it mom. Was, I don't think it was his mom. Okay. So anyway, someone Tyler I'll knew. Try to look. Yeah, was tracking down Sybil, and it passed off to Tyler, and now he passed it off to Matt, complete with you know pictures and drawings and everything to show what she looks like. Mm-hmm. And all this kind of fun. And as soon as that, I'm like, oh great, Matt's gonna see. You know, I'm, I literally at that exact moment called how it was gonna work. I'm like. Caroline's gonna show her baby pictures and oh yeah that's the nanny and Matt's gonna be like no it's not no it's not no it's not and that's pretty much what happened um but yeah we also found out that Celine was let out from the armory in the 1800s yep so she's been out a while and yeah Onto the B-plot, or the other side of this. Enzo, we, after having an entire episode skipped where we knew that Bonnie and him were in the cabin. Uh, I love those two. Like, I am so... I like them. I'm so on board for those two. Yeah. They're, uh, she, Bonnie's trying everything to get Enzo back to her, but just not working. His humanity has flipped off, and he's like, I don't give a shit. I'm team Enzo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Manipula- manipulates her into freeing him from his bonds and he's like thanks I'm out peace bye and can't get out the door <laughs> you thought just you, kidding that's cute <laughs> Bonnie's employing the use of a dark object to keep him there it's like hey here's this candle no supernatural creatures can leave the building that it's burning in and only I can put it out 
Yeah, I I thought for a minute she had her her witch powers back, and I was like, Ooh, she's right, hiding this from everybody, and it wasn't as interesting as that. No, it was kind of boring. I was like, oh, Bonnie's a witch again. No, she's not. I was also hoping like later when the fire was like going, and he was still stuck in the house, and he got uh, he, he you know the switch had gone you know turned off or turned off back on. I mean whatever, and. She was standing. She was out there. I thought like she'd just get like like some of her like her emotions would be all crazy, and all of a sudden, poo powers. And yeah. I was like, oh, I was disappointed. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you mentioned the fire because I like Bonnie's method. In the end, <laughs> fuck it, I'm burning this bitch down with the both of us in it. No, you want to save yourself and or me? You're gonna have to flip your switch back on. Otherwise, we're both dead. Yeah. And hey, guess what? Bur- uh, the Bonnie's burn the bitch down gambit worked. Well, it wasn't about the burning; it was about her not leaving. Like he right. has abandonment issues. Mm-hmm. He has abandonment issues, making him face his worst fear. Which it definitely was not the fire. Definitely was not the fire. It was definitely the abandonment thing. Because of Lily, and because of Damon. Mm-hmm. Basically, because of the Salvatore family. Those fuckers. So yeah, we got Enzo and Bonnie back. And for a split second there, I thought, oh great, you know, Enzo's gonna die with his humanity flipped back on and Bonnie's gonna have to watch. Like, you got me back for 30 seconds. Bye. Nah, I knew Bonnie was gonna go and... I was 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 just glad Bonnie didn't die, because Mm -hmm. then Elena would be back. (laughs) I don't miss her. I really don't. I do. I do miss her, uh, but only because I know it's ending, and I want I want to see her. Like the nostalgia feel is bringing it. All right, bringing yeah. it in for me. So I do feel like these these last few seasons, like without her, have been kind of like a fresh, you know, breath of fresh air kind of. Yeah, thing. I mean, we we technically had her a little bit early in the season with the the Sybil, you know, um, memory wipes and stuff. So Just we've seen her back. recently, you know. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, I think if she was on the show, that they would have been able to do that with changing the scenes a little bit more. Um, but they had to keep them pretty much uh, textbook. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Um, so, yeah, Matt, uh, Caroline's showing off pictures of the girls, and here's the nanny. And Matt's, you got to get home now. But they get home to no nanny. And they're gone. And no girls. Just a lovely family portrait of, you know, you know, the two girls, Celine and Uncle Cade. And the dead goldfish isn't even there. The dead goldfish isn't even there. What was the purpose of the dead goldfish? The purpose of the dead goldfish was, I think, to try to make a burial for the goldfish. So she had an excuse to burn something. Oh, uh, right, because, yeah, Georgie's body was under all that debris. Yeah. It, yeah, it was. It was trying to like keep the kids from the real bad. Like they, yeah. like it's. Oh, the goldfish died. That's sad. But the kids were like, oh, they like it wasn't as sad because it wasn't like they were attached to it. Right. So it was that distraction from. Oh, there's a body in there. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess for to a like three or four year old girl, then a dead goldfish would be far less traumatic than a dead person. Yeah. That they uh, may or may not have seen with daddy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I miss what? Georgie. I miss Georgie, too. I love that actress. I, know, I love sad. that character she was playing, and poof. She was basically playing a less uh, loopy version of herself from Warehouse 13. She really was. I so. was rooting for her, and, and uh, 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 yeah. I yeah. just went <laughs> out the door. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. So I don't even know <laughs> where the hell they go from here. Like, Damon, you know, when Sybil frees him, like, he's like, you were right. You know, it sucks. Like, those emotions coming back. I'm yours. Yeah. Like, atta- that was he said attachments, they suck. So, mm-hmm. uh, might not be getting Damon back for a while. Mm-mm. Hmm. I'm also curious what the whole dynamic is going to be between Celine and Sybil, because they don't seem, like, obviously they, uh, they're they both, like, servants of 
Cade, who is, you know, for all intents and purposes, the devil right now. Um, but they also seem to not like each other that much. From no. The clues we've been, they've been dropping at us. The Sybil holds a grudge against Selene. Uh, it's Selene. the same grudge that Damon had for Stefan. Pretty much. Right. It's you turn um, me, you turn me evil. Like you forced, yeah. yeah, you forced me into this. You tricked me into this. I feel like um, Sybil's actually gonna end up being the hero. Huh. That's where I, I feel I'm like it's going. That, I think, I think it's gonna come into a sibling battle, and and she's gonna have to take out Celine. And unfortunately, it may lead up to that point with Stefan and Damon as well. It may be to the point where Stefan has to take Damon out. They've alluded to that for a couple seasons now. Yeah, they have. I guess, you know, they've alluded to it. It would be... Yeah, it's, the, it's the series finale. I mean, anybody can die at this point. Because he's going to he's gonna have to the deep end more than... I mean, many times throughout the last you know, eight seasons or whatever. Yep. <clears throat> Stefan has only done it a couple, like, couple times? Stefan's done it a stupid. couple times and gone all ripper, fun, lots of blood everywhere. But Damon, it's been a, it's been a while though. Have Have Elena wake up to Damon dying? Oof, right, that'd be good. That'd be really fitting. Mhm. I guess. Yeah. I don't Tragic. Know. I'm done with all the feels. I've been dealing with enough feels. I'm good. <laughs> to do. Yeah. All the feels. Let's Please. push the feels back. Um. So like I said, I have no idea where they're going. Like how many podcasts of these types that we do a week I usually have predictions right now I'm 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 lost I'm flat I have no idea where they're going with this I think Sybil's gonna use Sybil's gonna use the tuning fork on her sister you know I'm I I had that feeling too well she took it so she's gonna do something with it Mm -hmm. I don't think it's hide it I don't think it's hide it either I think she's going to use it to try to one-up Celine. Yeah. But, anyway. Um, is there anything we need to mention before I read the synopsis for next episode? Nope. I th- yeah, I'm pretty sure we covered everything. Uh, okay, so moving on. I had the name of it, and apparently it's gone. So, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, oh, you broke it. Nope, I broke it. I had the name, and it's gone. Anyway, here's the synopsis. I'll find the name in a second. It's called uh, Detoured on Some Random Backwoods Path to Hell. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. So that, and the synopsis long title. is... Yeah, it is a long title. It's a line from Caroline uh, in season one. Okay. When her children become the focus of this... Oh, that makes sense now. Of the siren's latest plan, Caroline takes drastic measures to ensure nothing gets in the way of keeping her family safe. In a race against the clock, Stefan pledges to do everything he can to save the twins, while tensions between Alaric and Caroline boil over, leading them to face some harsh realities about the future of their family. Meanwhile, when Enzo finds himself unable to fight off Sybil's latest move, Stefan dives into his subconscious and along the way sets off a chain of events that leaves him faced with a life-changing decision. Also, fun fact, Paul Wesley, a.k.a. Stefan, directs this next episode. Hooray, I loved everything he's directed so far. I have too, so we're in for something good, I think. Yep. Yeah, past seasons, the episodes that Paul Wesley directs have, you know, usually turned out to be the gems of the season, so... Yeah. I'm optimistic. Yep. But other than that, I think we're we're done. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, then. So on that, Dom, where can they find you? You can find me down below at Phenomenom. P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. Sweet. Kim, where can mm-hmm. they find you? Mm-hmm. 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 On the Twitter at H-U-F-F-I-T-Y, P-U-F-F-I-T-Y. Yep. You can find me on Twitter at Philadrin. No song and dance for me. Um, you can find all of us on... What? <laughs> Stuff. Stuff. You can find all of and us... And things. And things. You can find all of us on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google+, MySpace, and YouTube. 
at ASOTV Podcast. You can follow us at those places for some more podcasts or some of your favorite TV shows, movies, and games. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye. Bye. Adieu. Goodbye, John. Bye, John.